Sheila in the ensemble case written and directed by Peter Howard. It was five it was five o'clock in the morning. I looked at the time on my phone and then I saw Sherlock's name pop up. What? I said angrily, answering it. John, I need you over here now. Sherlock, it's five o'clock in the flipping morning. Why? I'm in bed. Watson, I need you over here now. All right, I'm coming. I'm with Mary, I protested. Watson? All right. I hung up the phone. I went over to 321 B Baker Street. I noticed that Sherlock was playing his violin. Sherlock! Sherlock! I yelled. Holmes! I yelled again. This time I got his attention. Oh, this time I got his attention. Hello, John. Sherlock, why did you call me over here at this hour? I threw my arms up in there. Oh, right. Um, sorry about that. You're sorry? Really? Uh, why did you call me over here? I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't forgive my, the case out. What case? The missing boy one. The missing boy, I repeated. Yes, didn't you hear it in the papers? Or on the internet? She like asked me? No. Well, this young lady came to me today asking if if I could help you with the case. And, I said, and I couldn't figure it out. Really? Even with your powers of deduction? Yes. She looked, snapped at me. Fine, fine. I said, putting my hands up. Right, uh, and you needed me, why? Uh, uh, Sheila, come on, I do have patients coming to the surgery in the morning. Uh, right. Well, she could have found her son and... And she... She what? I... I... asked. And... She was panicking. I, I couldn't know how to help her. She said sympathetically. All right, and you need the need to come again? Well, yes. At that very moment, the doorbell ding. And then Mrs. Hudson's voice came floating up the stairs. Boys, you've got a client, she said. Sherlock, why are you looking so awkward, I asked. Why are you looking so pale, I commented. He was silent. Bring it up, Mrs. Hudson. I, I yelled back. The woman, the young woman that came in the door had a very red 
face, very different to Sherlock's. She was a plump young lady. Oh, Mr. Holmes, she said almost out of breath. Can you tell my son yet? Mr. Holmes. Sherlock! I joined. Oh, hello, sir. Hi, Miss. Uh, hello, Mr. Holmes. Have you found my son yet? No, I haven't. What happened to your son? I asked, concerned. Ah, uh, uh, he went missing about five, five twenty five this morning. Oh, that's a problem. Yes, it is. Um, yes, it is. Sherlock said, jumping to his feet. And why do you have blood on, blood on your hands? He sh shouted, almost knocking the poor young lady on, off her feet. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Holmes. Uh, when I was rummaging through stuff to find the road, and my, I don't know how I, how I got that. Uh, right. Did you cut yourself? I asked. I don't, I don't, I do not know. Sarah said. John, we needed. She looked secretly, banging on the table. Right, I said. But I better help this young lady clean up first. Sherlock, did you hear me? Sherlock! Ah, come on, Sarah, I'll show you to the bathroom. So you don't know how you did this? I said, looking closely to her hands and bandaging it up. No, not at all. Uh, right. Keep the bandage up for a couple of days. Three at the most, actually. Make sure the wounds are clean and don't get infected. And you should be fine. Fine. She repeated. Yeah, I'll be more fine if you can find myself. We headed out towards her car. Sherlock, you're looking awful pale, I commented. I'm fine, he snapped. All right, I was just a bit concerned. Sherlock, no, 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 I screamed. He almost hit his head on the pavement. Mr. Hudson, get my medical kit. Right, you are, dear. She called back. Sherlock, Sherlock, wake up. Mrs. Hudson, hurry! I yelled. Come in, dear! She yelled back. Oh, not again, Mrs. Hudson said. What, he's done this before? Yes, to me many times, Mrs. Con Mrs. Hudson commented. Well, uh, let's take him inside. I took his legs, Mrs. Hudson took his arms. 
Let's try and stop in the street, thank goodness. What's going on? He asked. Sherlock, I said. Really? Again? Ah, oh, as if you would know anything. I said dryly. Come in, Greg, and help us. I added. Come in, come in. He said, what's it this time? I don't know, I said. We were still taking up, we, we were still taking up him up the stairs. As I said this, we put him on the bed. Gosh, he looks a bit piggy, doesn't he? Piggy, what do you expect, Sherlock? I c called you over here to take some to take some blood to the lab. What? What am I, John? Your biochemist? Sherlock said. No, I just need your help. For a minute or two, the Charlotte mad. Please, I begged. Fine, I'll take them. Where do you want me to take them to? He asked. To Molly, please, I replied. Lestrade looked awkward at her, at her name. To Molly, I repeated. He looked pink. And then he turned, turned away and went out the door. He's finally lost it. <sighs> I could hear the child comment as he left the house. He's finally lost it. He's gone crazy. I, he didn't say as he headed out the door. Ah, oh, the poor dear looks terrible, said Mrs. Hudson. As she came in, Mrs. Sandy. Thank you. And would you mind getting Miss Sarah who, a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits? I asked. Well, I have a look at your look. Of course. This way, dear. After a while, I headed back downstairs. Sarah was still nervously nibbling on the biscuit. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with him. What am I meant to do now, Dr. Watson? I don't... I just don't know how to help my son and my husband. He's missing as well. He's missing as well, I said, raising an eyebrow. Yes, they're both missing. What do I do now? Go to the police. And after that? I don't know, I said. Our chief policeman just walked out the door. If you want to catch him. Thank you, Sarah said, still flustered. That was Sherlock in the unsolved case. Voice and directed by Busy Hyde. Pictures were from the internet. Written by me, Busy Hyde, and Jonathan Michael. The screenplay was written by, by me and Jonathan. Then.
Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. That was Sherlock and Nan self -tacks. Please subscribe to my channels and I will see you shortly. Thanks to Jonathan Michael for coming to the party with um, this idea and collaborating it on with me. Thank you to the BBC show with uh, you guys without BBC show like I would not become a fan. Um <coughs> thank you to Mark Gators and um Stephen Moffat for coming up with the show without you guys on one and on become a fan either and that was elementary my dear people <laughs>